What is a language? Language means there are two persons. There are two persons communicate each other. Okay, so in this case, they can speak English, they can speak Telugu, they can speak Hindi. Okay, like that, they can speak each other. Okay, so language means the way of communication. The way of communication between two persons okay so that is nothing but some data is exchanged between two persons okay so communication means something is getting from both okay so this is the basic language definition what is programming language okay programming language means so there is a person Okay, so this person want to communicate with computer. So the way of communication, the way of communication between man and machine is nothing but programming language. Basically, men can understand English, Hindi, Telugu, languages computer or device can understand zeros and ones okay so if person want to communicate with zeros and ones very difficult okay so that's why to communicate with the computer we need some kind of programming language why we need programming language for example to calculate 2 plus 2 we can easily calculate but if you want to calculate like 1, 2, 5, 6 plus 7, 2, 5. So we need some time. Similarly, we can calculate like 2 into 7, like 14. But if you want to calculate like large number, like 2, 19 into 19, 12. So this is takes some time. So in this case, we are using calculator. Okay. So calculator is one of the electronic device. Inside there is a, some kind of programming is existed okay so similarly if person want to communicate with the computer we need programming language see ultimately person want to communicate with computer the person must learn one programming language maybe c c plus plus java and python okay so the programmer should be perfect with one of the programming language okay for example person to person communication if you know the telugu language properly both will communicate each other if both persons are know some english language they can communicate each other if both persons are know hindi language they communicate easily okay so the exchange of data is very easy if the person knows the program knows the language okay similarly programmer knows c language he can develop applications if programmer knows c plus plus language he can develop the applications if programmer knows the java language he can develop the application so what i'm saying to you as a programmer a person must be perfect with one of the programming language okay so why programming language is needed okay the program for example today we are paying electricity bill in olden days like 10 years back or 15 years back if you want to pay the electricity bill okay there is a long process we had to communicate with the office and we had to pay the bill okay but today within fraction of seconds we are paying the bill similarly withdraw the cash any time you need a money directly enter the directly enter the amount taking the cash from the atm okay so reservations so everything we are doing very easily because we can communicate with the devices okay the devices contains some kind of programming languages so that's why programming language is necessary
What is a C language? What is a C language? C is General Purpose Programming Language. General Purpose Programming Language. So, what is the meaning of general purpose? We can develop programs and we can design softwares. Okay. In olden days, there are two programming languages are popular. One is called Photon. Photon stands for Formula Translation, and it was designed in the year 1957, and COBOL, Common Business Oriented Language, and it was designed in 1960. Okay. So these two programming languages are popular to design programs. But if you coming for the general applications, these programming languages are not suitable. Okay. So most of the people are thinking that these two programs are very difficult. Okay. So that kind of context, Dennis Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie. Okay. So Dennis Ritchie developed one programming language the programming language name is called c programming language okay so this programming language developed on in the year 1972 basically dennis rich is one of the scientists and he belongs to at and tc's bell labs okay so american telephone and telegraph bell labs so basically it is located at new jersey new jersey us okay so C is general purpose programming language used to develop programs and softwares. C language C language is derived from Algol algorithmic language and we can design algorithms and it is introduced in the year 1960. And C language is derived from BCPL basic combined programming language and it is introduced in the year 1967 used to develop general programs okay and there is a b language so it stands for bell language okay so it was introduced in the year 1970 and finally c language is derived from algol bcpl and b in the year 1972 it was introduced by denise ritchie okay the main purpose of C language is develop embedded applications in Unix operating system. Okay, so embedded applications means what? Okay, like there are electronic devices like remotes, washing machines, fridges and routers. We are using some kind of hardware and software combination. Okay, so that kind of devices we can call it as embedded systems. So similarly, during development process of Unix operating system, C language was introduced. So that is the reason C is best suitable language for the Unix operating system. Okay, so this C language was developed on the computer name is called DEC PDP2. So this is the processor used while developing the C language by Ritchie. Okay, so most of the compilers of the C language is based on Unix. Okay. So in the year 1988, C language is taken by ANSI, American National Institute. Okay, is one of the popular institute is taken by 1988, and this time Dennis Ritchie got some kind of prizes. Why we called as a C? C. What is the other name of the sea? C. C means what? Ocean. In the ocean, we can travel around the world. Okay. So that means there is no boundaries. There is no end. Okay. We can take C languages also. We can write any applications. Any type of application we can develop. Okay. So that is the reason C is one of the popular as well as powerful programming language okay so this point is given by the Denis Chichi in some private interview why C language why C language is powerful 
why C language is powerful and why we had to learn the C language. Okay, so you can observe that C language developed 1972, but nowadays also we are using C language. Okay, so why C language is more powerful? Basically, C language is mid-level language. So mid-level language in the sense, low-level language plus high-level language by two. That means C is suitable for low-level language as well as high-level language. Low-level language means what? It is provides machine efficiency, and high-level language means it is providing program efficiency. Okay, machine means we can interact with the machine. Similarly, program means we can design real-time programs. Okay, so C language is contains the features of low level as well as it contains the features of high level. If you don't know about the low level and high level, you can watch the program basics in my playlist. Okay, so see it is both features, low level language features and high level language features. Okay, so that means we can develop the software and we can interact with the system also. Communication is very easily, and not only for that, most of the libraries nowadays we are using various programming languages like Python or Java or PHP or JavaScript. So most of the libraries is available in C language only. Okay, and other one is most of the compilers. Most of the compilers in C language only. Okay, and database softwares. Backend is developed through C language. Okay, so test editors, test editors like Notepad, WordPad, or everything is comes under C language. Okay, device drivers like hardware, we can easily develop through C language. Okay, so major web browsers, major web browsers programming is based on C language. okay and we can design virus and we can also design antivirus with the help of c language okay and c language is <coughs> why c language is popular why c language is popular okay so basically c programming language is used for the different type of domains different type of areas See nowadays we are using lot of programming languages like Python or PHP or cloud computing, and different type of programming languages are used for the different type of applications. And in this case, most of the libraries, most of the libraries, designed through C language. Okay, and most of the compilers, most of the compilers is also designed from the C language. What is the compiler? translator so programmer users can understand program code users in the sense programmer okay they can understand source code so the source code is not understand by the system okay system can understand only zeros and ones so that kind of conversion means programming code is converted into machine understandable format is called as compiler okay and with the help of c language there are some database softwares also libraries database software libraries also based on the c language okay with the help of c language most of the test editors we can design okay like notepad wordpad ms word okay everything like there is some kind of support is given to the test editors and device drivers so communication between hardware as well as software we need a device drivers okay like printer we need to install software so that is nothing but device driver so majority part of the web browsers web browser initial applications is developed through the c language okay and we can also design virus and we can also design antivirus through c language with the help of pointers and all so with the help of c language we can strongly design embedded systems okay embedded systems which are used in robotics and uh, internet of things iot so c language strongly supports graphic package 
so not graphic programming graphic package okay so this is the some basic information about the thing see most of the softwares in the world is developing from the c and c++ okay we can develop operating system boot up applications we can develop the network related applications we can develop the general oriented applications and we can develop some kind of gaming libraries okay so and this is the most advantage of c and c++ okay c++ is extension of c language okay so we can take any large companies like microsoft microsoft or arkel or unix basic platform everything is designed through the c language okay in fact anything and everything that can be done in the computer that should be using in c language okay so c language is provided good environment for the programmers to design varieties of softwares okay so that's why c is one of the popular programming language to design any kind of programs if you know the c language you can easily learn other programming languages okay i hope you understand what is the history of c language and why we have to learn the c language okay if you watch this video if you like this video press like button support my channel Thank you.